Hey guys, Slash Pepper, and welcome to another episode on the Dr. Pepper Diner. Today, well, not today, but it's almost graduation day, and actually, I graduated, so, uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> so that's the reason why I'm doing a Dr. Pepper Diner video to graduation day. Just gonna watch this one on VHS for the first time, and, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Hello there, internet fans. It's your old pal Roger Walker here from Slasher Pepper. And the reason I'm copying Roger DeMarco's intro from 3vproductionco.com is because he is also uploading a graduation day review right now so if this video by the time you're watching this video his reviews up also up the link over here to his video or there <laughs> I never know but definitely go check it out because his name is Roger too and as you all know Rogers are awesome so graduation days definitely one of the better early 80s slasher flicks trying to cash in on the old slasher trend you know like Friday the 13th Halloween and then you got Graduation Day, which is just trying to cash in on the whole slasher craze. Now this is definitely a very low budget film. The kills aren't spectacular or anything, like they're serviceable. Some of them are pretty gory actually. Um, I won't spoil anything by the way. But this movie tries very hard to not to review uh, who the killer is. And actually has like, oh this guy could be the killer, but this gal too. And this guy as well. Like, every suspect has a pretty clear motivation as, and is definitely possible to be the killer. Like, it opens up with someone's death and is the coach who's fired because of that death. Or is the boyfriend of the girl that died in the beginning. They all have pretty clear motivations if they are the killer. I'm not gonna spoil who the real killer is, but it's pretty awesome. And actually, I could have seen it coming. It was one of my suspects, obviously. Like, everyone is a suspect in a slasher film, really. In a whodunit film. <laughs> It definitely paid off, in my opinion. The editing is, in this is really great, especially for an early slasher film. Every once in a while you have these like quick cuts uh, to like a kill or something. And actually that was pretty cool to see in original. Really fresh, I hadn't seen that in any slasher film before. The music is great, there's also a scene with Felony playing actually. And they play a song called Gangster Rock and actually agreed to do a scene in this film if they got to keep the rights to the song and they did and actually they are featured on the Jason Live soundtrack as well and they did the song I'm No Animal which that song I really like that one so yeah definitely one of the better early 80s slasher films I definitely prefer this over Final Exam although the thing the one main problem with this movie for me is that it doesn't really feel like a graduation and Final Exam slasher movie it feels more like a sporting school movie or movie uh, because you don't really get the feeling like they just did their exams and stuff and that actually you do really get that feeling in Final Exam so from that point of view I prefer Final Exam Anyway, that's all I had to say about graduation day. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And remember, go to 3B Production Co. right now so you can go watch Roger DeMarco's graduation day review. It's linked over here or there and also in the description. So make sure you check it out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not